Welcome to Pactivity Live, sponsored by our friends at First Settlement Physical Therapy. I'm Jessica Seifert, Managing Director of the Parkersburg Art Center, and today I'm going to show you how to take today's paper and make a couple of cute little animal projects. So, let's get started. First, grab your paper out of the recycling bin, and in the promo, I had shown you an example of an owl. Um, to do this particular project, what you're going to need to do is to cut a piece of newspaper into an owlish shape. It does not have to be my owl shape, it can be your owl shape. And then we cut two little owl wings and two big owl eyes. In this instance, we used tempera paint, but I started a new one today using some watercolors. So here I have watercolored the newspaper and I've glued down the body of my owl on this guy. I added him some little fringes up here on his little owl ears. I cut out some owl wings and I fringed those as well. Fringing paper is a great um, motor skill for young children to learn. So if you've got young kids at home, just letting them cut, cut, cut and fringe paper helps to develop that small muscle and helps them gain control and learn how to use scissors. So here we have our owl body and his wings. I watercolored his eyes. These I made bright yellow today. I'm just going to glue one on. My other one ran away. I'm going to glue it on. I cut out a little orange triangle for a beak. There you go. And if I had planned a head properly, oops, hey, I have a marker. You can add some pupils to his eyes. They just give a little more character. And I gave him a branch. Ooh, thinking of Valentine's Day, it could be, who do you love? I love you. So here is our owl. One thing I got to warn you about is if you're going to watercolor paint um, on the pre-cut shapes, the paper is going to want to curl. So once it dries, you can flatten it back out again. This guy, I also enhanced him with a little bit of marker to get some brighter color. So you can use marker, crayon, um, watercolors temper paints, whatever you happen to have at home. So here is our owl. And then by using some pre-cut circles and triangles and a half circle, here we have a cute little kitty cat. And if you'll notice this cat, we didn't paint. We didn't add any color. This one I made and he is nice and bright and colorful. And the way I did this one, was I just painted a whole half sheet of newspaper, trying not to get the picture part, a whole half sheet of newspaper before I even began. And then I drew and cut my shapes and glued them all together. I'm sure you have other newspaper crafts that you might have done before, or maybe you're going to share what you uh, do with this one with us today. I love to see what you are creating. So please, please, please send me some pictures. You can always message me right here on our Facebook page. If you ever have any questions or want some help with an art idea or art project, you can email me at info at parkersburgartcenter.org. We are your art center and we want to help you stay creative. So have a great weekend out there, guys. And as always, I hope that you are safe and healthy and kind. So until next week, I think we're going to be painting with balloons. So you're going to want to turn in for that one. Tune in for that one. I don't know. I can't talk today. I need a cup of coffee. All right, guys. Bye-bye.